Hey guys, T9 Tech here with another video. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to improve your startup speed um, from when you press the power button to this screen right here. Um, there's a couple different methods of doing this. One is my first recommendation. Go ahead and hold the Windows key and R. And then it'll pull up this run configuration. And go in and head and type in M S C O N F I G. And this is Microsoft configuration. And you're gonna come up with a screen that looks like this. Now if you've never done this before, or if you have a or if you've never had a tool that modifies your startup and services, um, most likely this is going to be selected normal startup. So don't click this first. What we do in these two tabs will determine, it will automatically select this. So go over to the boot tab, and right now I'm running on my C drive is Windows 7, and it's timed out for 30 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and make that 6, and hit apply. And then I'm going to go to services, and if you look at all these services, all of these have to load in order for Windows, well, not necessarily all of them but most of these load um, by the time you get to your welcome screen now go ahead and click this that says hide all Microsoft services and go in and anything that's not critical to deleting a service that would affect your system in a in a bad way go ahead and uncheck like Google update service I don't need that so I stop that service um, Roxio media database service I don't need that because a I don't use the program and B, even if I did, it's not relative to anything that I would use for it. Um, go to assistant. Um, I'm not going to use that uh, FA service. That's fast access. That is the the facial recognition service. Um, I go ahead and disable that because um, it it takes way too long to start up. First, when you when you click the welcome screen. It waits for the integrated webcam to boot up, and then the program itself comes up before Windows even loads, and then it scans your face, which doesn't even work half the time. So go ahead, and I really recommend stopping that service. Then when you stopped all these services, go ahead and hit apply. Um, all these are the ones I would normally leave. Um, start up. These, this, all this you see right here, this is all crap, junk, just stuff you don't need on startup. Install Shield. What uh, Install Shield is the driver that installs programs for you. There's no reason to have that on startup, so go ahead and uncheck that. Uh, McAfee, I don't need my antivirus on startup. Um, I really recommend only using antivirus when you do full scans. If you're uh, sort of a gamer like me, it really slows down your game, so I would recommend taking that off. Um, VM Workstation, I don't need that. You know, all these Java, I don't need a JavaScript to load up, Skype, RoboForm. The only things I really want is this, uh, you know, my Dell doc is how I access many of my programs. Um, Catalyst Control Center, which is the control center for my ATI card, my video card. And then these two Dell Cam, well, Webcam Central and Support Center Updates. Now, Support Center Updates is also integrated into a driver that enables the webcam to be accessed from the from the buttons on the keyboard and the touch buttons up top like your wireless button the pause stop buttons the volume and the eject disk button so and then I apply those and then when you hit apply you hit OK and it'll ask you to restart your computer go ahead and restart and then most likely if you really want to get technical you can time it and it's gonna be faster another thing I recommend go ahead and go to control panel Go into the search and type in programs, and you're going to click in programs and features. Remove anything that you don't use. If you don't use it, get rid of it. Um, I can't stress enough how, as in one of my um, my other videos I mentioned about fragmentation and how a bunch of files can get together and sort of just clunk up. It's like a, it's kind of like Tetris, like. If you see a bunch of uh, a bunch of blocks fall, and you see open pockets of space that could be used, um, well, what defragging does is it takes all those blocks and it makes them even, so you have more space, and it uh, it's faster to access. So, um, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. This is T9 Tech. I'm out.